Hi guys, Troy with MyCAD here, and I've got a couple quick tips for you to help improve your day-to-day -day productivity inside of Revit. Uh, the first tip is using or is customizing the quick access toolbar up here in the top corner of your screen with your favorite commands. And the second tip is to create your own keyboard shortcuts. So let's get started. So up here in the top left hand corner of the screen is your quick access toolbar. This can be customized so you can put shortcuts to your favorite commands. Really simple, all you have to do is locate the command that you want to add there. So let's say I want to load some families. It's over here on the insert tab of the ribbon. I find it and simply right click and you can add it to the quick access toolbar. And you'll see it placed right up here on your toolbar. Uh, let's find another one. Here on the view tab, maybe I want to use the close inactive windows, add it to my quick access toolbar. And there it is. Now if you decide you don't like it, simply right click over the quick access toolbar and remove it. And there's also another option on there if you want to customize the quick access toolbar. It gives you some more options about moving tools up and down and rearranging and that kind of stuff. So that's customizing your quick access toolbar. The next power tip for you guys is using your own custom keyboard shortcuts to uh, improve productivity. Have you ever noticed the power users in the office type in a lot of commands? That's because it's simply the quickest way to initiate your commands. If you take a close look at some of the tools on the ribbon, so over here in the architecture tab, I'm moving over the wall tool, you see the parentheses next to the command name, WA. That is the keyboard shortcut for that particular tool. Many of the tools already have keyboard shortcuts uh, defined, and if there are some that don't, you can create your own. So for example, one of the tools I use regularly is Manage Links. It's over here on the Manage tab of the ribbon. And when I hover over top of the tool, you can see there's no shortcut assigned. To create your own custom keyboard shortcut, simply type in KS on the keyboard for keyboard shortcuts. Here you'll have a list of all the commands, and it's a long list obviously, there's lots of different tools to choose from. So simply start typing up here at the top for uh, the command you're interested in, and I was looking for manage links, and you'll be able to find it on the list and then assign a new shortcut. So I'm going to type in ML as a shortcut. Now shortcuts do need to be two characters. Well, I guess they can be three, but I prefer two, and that's what generally what I would recommend. So two characters, type them in, hit the assign button, and you can see that it is now assigned to that particular command. Click OK. So now instead of looking for that tool on the menu, I may be over here on the architecture tab. I can simply type in ML, and it'll bring up the manage links dialog box for me. If I hit the right keys on the keyboard, there we go. Uh, so there's my manage links dialog box. If you uh, don't like that, or if you've done a bunch of customization and you want to go back to, uh, you want to move those customizations to a different computer, type in KS for keyboard shortcuts again. And you'll also notice an import and export buttons here that allow you to take this, uh, these shortcuts and bring them to another computer. So that's it. If you really want to speed up the day-to-day -day usage of Revit, create your own custom keyboard shortcuts. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit like, and we'll have a lot more content coming for you. So thanks for watching.